Hot today, triple digit heat in the Upper Valley. We're very unstable and therefore thunderstorms likely overnight tonight. The overnight storms are more likely out in the Upper Valley, but we'll all get a chance of scattered thunder showers when those winds turn with a cold front at about 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. 94, our official high temperature in Brownsville today. Normal 87, record 102, 1906. Harlingen, your high today, 97 degrees. 89 is normal, 103 the record, 1999. And high temperature 99 today in McAllen, far from that record of 106, and that was set back in 1999. Hot spot today, Rio Grande City at 102 degrees, 99 for Edinburgh, Raymondville at 97. 92 on the island and 91 Port Isabel. But cooler air is coming in, and we can see on the radar composite right now. These thunderstorms over Mexico are encroaching into Sabata as we speak and moving toward Falcon Lake. I expect them to be over Rio Grande City in about 48 to 55 minutes. We can expect the remnants to pass right on in to the western portion of Hidalgo County. So I don't want you to be surprised if you're a crackle of thunder early in the morning overnight tonight. And these are some potentially powerful storms. How do these storms get cooking? Well, when they fall apart, they send out the outflow boundary winds, and that just produces more thunderstorms. In addition to that, we have a cold front on a way that will be slicing in through the other direction from north to south tomorrow. We can expect widely scattered thunder showers, and the best part of this, we can expect temperatures to be only in the mid to upper 80s tomorrow afternoon. So a little relief from the heat. And here are the winds. We can expect them to shift at about 6 o'clock tomorrow, coming in from the north and northeast, anywhere from 10 to 30 miles per hour. Will this spawn thunder showers? Yes. I suspect the best time of those storms will be in the morning hours when the front actually starts to pass through. And then we'll start to quiet down by late tomorrow evening. Here are the temperatures right now. We are 80 in Brownsville, 77 Harlingen, 84 McAllen, 88 still out in Rio Grande City. And of course, our dew point temperature is very muggy. Therefore, all the fuel and ingredients are there for storms. Now, here's your day planner for tomorrow. Thunder showers, especially in the first half of the day. High temperatures tomorrow, I suspect, will peak at about 87, both in the lower and the upper valleys. Your pollen forecast, 6.9 today. It actually drops down quite a bit tomorrow. Thanks to the potential rain to 5.8. Out on the island, yes, even you shall get some thunder showers as the cold front comes down. 83, high temperature for tomorrow. 75, Lower Valley tonight, 74 in the Upper Valley. Tomorrow, 87, with some towns only in the mid 80s, 84 to 85 range. And here comes your long range forecast. And we can expect things to turn around on a cloudy Thursday. The winds will warm us to 90 and 93. On Friday, most of the day will be just just like today, partly cloudy skies, moderately gusty winds, but late that evening, that's when potentially strong storms come in, stronger than the round we'll see overnight tonight. Heavy rain potential on Saturday, especially Saturday morning. And look at that. I'm putting some high temperatures only in the 70s on Saturday, thanks to the rainfall. But then on Mother's Day Sunday, cloudy skies. Yes, we could see a few lingering sprinkles, but not too bad and not stormy. 82 and 83. Back to sunshine on Monday, 90 in the Upper Valley, 88 and 90 on Tuesday, cloudy skies. Brenda's back with more news in just a moment.